솔직히 이제 젊은 시간이에요 제가 대학교에 왔어요 그래서 여기 달렸기죠 Okay, today's video is going to be about confident when speaking Korean and the kind of reactions I personally get when speaking Korean So I'm gonna give you a few tips that I believe can help generally almost everyone when learning to, well when speaking Korean and having enough confidence to speak Korean tip one realize that you are a learner as a learner you're allowed to make mistakes you're allowed to make as many mistakes as you possibly can and no one can judge you for that because you are a learner because you're a learner you don't have to be fluent you can have the most choppy Korean in the world but no one can judge you for it because don't lose confidence when you've been learning Korean for three years and someone else has been learning for three months and they're at a higher level than you. People excel at different speeds. I mean, aren't they both learners though? You have to realize that you have taken up the decision to learn Korean and that is a plausible decision in itself. I'm pretty sure that a lot of Korean learners today made it their own decision to learn Korean. And most people learn by themselves including me. Keep in mind that you're going to make a thousand or one more mistakes than someone who has a Korean teacher or goes to a Korean lesson. Tip number two, make friends with other learners. Make mistakes together and correct each other from their mistakes. If one of your friends keep on saying annyeong hiseyo, then correct them. Tell them it's not annyeong hiseyo, it's annyeong haseyo if you want to say hello as a greeting. And don't do it in a snobby way where you're like, Psh, I'm better at Korean than I know. And mistakes actually help you learn better. I remember my friend asking me, how do you say the weather is good? And I'm just like, uh, I don't know the word for weather. And another friend asked me, you know, how do you say where's the toilet? And I'm like, jang something? Like, I, I could not remember. And I immediately went home and opened this Korean book. And I'm like, okay, where is where is toilet and where is weather? And I'll never forget that toilet is Hwajangshi and um, what's the English for it? I just said it so many times. And weather is Nangshi. I'll never forget that because they asked me and I didn't know. Quietly take it as a challenge to get better than them. I had a friend who was learning Korean and she was her Korean was great I mean she was so good at it at that time and I was just like oh my goodness I want to be as great as her and I see all these people on YouTube who are learning and they're so great at it and I'm just like wow I really want to be that at that level you know like um, Yongguk Namja he's Korean is <laughs> blows me away I I just I just want to get at that level and I'll be happy but secretly take it upon yourself to be like okay I'm challenging you to a Korean contest and I'm gonna be I want to get there I want to get to that level and beyond and that's gonna be your drive tip number three put yourself out there for me to put myself out there I joined a contest. What you had to do was you had to make a video of why you love Korea and I made a video all in Korean and that was such an accomplishment for me and like I didn't expect to win I just wanted to participate and really get my Korean out there you know not just sit in my room just be like I mean what good is learning Korean when you can't speak it to anyone? I got this um, certificate, like a, a proper official certificate for just participating and I'm just like whoa, I did not expect to win, I did not expect to get anything out of this contest but I got a USB which is actually really handy and I got this big certificate and my parents were really proud of me and I'm just thinking like yo go to as many Korean related things and really get yourself surrounded by the culture get comfortable now for me personally I did not have the Korean culture as around me as much as I'd hoped to I had to go I think travel about like 30 minutes to an hour to get to a quite 
heavily Korean populated place. Get used to hearing Korean from native speakers. Really get yourself comfortable in that Korean setting. Because when you're comfortable, you're going to be able to speak confidently. Fourth tip. Speak Korean wherever it's appropriate. For example, order Korean in Korean. I can tell you, honestly, when you order Korean in Korean and you see like the dishes get put down and everything's correct, the sense of accomplishment is overwhelming. I mean, it may even just be like you walk into a Korean shop, you order something in Korean, they give you the change and you just walk out and say, come some of that. that basically could be it. I mean, I remember when I started learning Korean and I wanted to say come some of that, I was so quiet, like, and I literally just walked out and I felt so disappointed in myself. Like, come on, I've been learning Korean for how long now? And I can't even say a word in Korean to a Korean person. So next time I went there, I was like, come me da, and you know what I'm saying? She learned me, yo, man. Just really speaking Korean at any given time. And because I spoke it so often and I was really comfortable in the surroundings, hearing Korean, speaking Korean, it just came natural. Moaning Korean, duh. If something to you is like so annoying, it's like, oh, tachana. The more naturally you moan in Korean, the more naturally you speak in Korean, I believe. If you're feeling cold, then, oh, don't spend too much time thinking up here. So when I'm speaking English, I'm not going to be like, okay, I'm going to say this, this, this in English, and then I'm going to say it out loud. So naturally express what you wanted to say. And when you do moan in Korean, you can naturally talk in Korean too. I believe it really helps. Tip number five. This has to be the most important tip because it has like so many levels to it. Accept all reactions as lessons. By reactions, I don't mean music video reactions and you're just like, oh my God, that's my whole part. I mean, when you speak Korean to a Korean person or even a non-Korean person, whatever their reaction may be, accept it as a lesson. For example, you speak Korean to someone and they go, whoa, that's really good. You're really good at speaking Korean. Then that means you did something good. Praise means you've done something good. You could just say, I guess, you know, and then someone is going to be like, wow, you know, you're learning Korean. That's amazing. Corrections help you improve. If you say something in Korean and someone goes, oh, it's like this, and then you'd be like, oh, okay. Take it as a tip from a pro, even if they're not a pro. Especially for self-learners, we don't really have that teacher figure to correct us. We have to find our own mistakes, which is so hard, especially when you've been saying something wrong for so long, it's so hard to get out of that habit. So when someone corrects you, take it as that's your teacher figure as well. No reaction at all is actually the most comforting to me. Think about it, Koreans, don't always praise Korean for speaking Korean. Appa, Australia. Oh, I'm gonna Doesn't work like that. No reactions are basically telling you that you are understood, and that is basically your main goal to communicate. And the negative reaction. Negative reactions are actually really rare. In fact, the negative reactions I have gotten are actually from non-Korean learners. Like when people find out that you can speak Korean. Ugh. What are you learning Korean for? Are you Korean? Really? You're not even learning, so... Use it as fuel. This train isn't gonna get going by itself. You have to really take all those negative comments that you get and really push through them and use them to get going and get to your destination. If your Korean is only just a little bit and someone tells you, why are you trying to learn Korean? You're not even good at it. Use that as your drive. Next time you meet them and your Korean is freaking amazing, just be like, in the back of your head, mm-hmm, I thought I wasn't even that good, huh? Most of the time I speak Korean to Korean people, I usually go, whoa, you know Korean? And I'm like, yeah. 
and they tend to be a lot more friendlier towards me after I speak Korean but I just want to point this out there if you're speaking Korean to a Korean person on two occasions actually this has happened the person I'm speaking Korean to gives up on speaking English to me my Korean ain't that great you know I always feel like there's room for me to improve and there always is I'm nowhere near fluent the, the waiter the waiter will try and check something over in the menu and they'll say it all in Korean like is this what you want did you want kimchi or do you want bean sprouts or you know this is this is this is that right do you want anything else like no and they'll come back and be like oh yeah you can speak really good Korean you know where did you learn Korean here wow and all in Korean and they would not ever speak to me in English like do you want me to take do you want to take this away take away do you want this do you want that all in Korean and I'm just like you know English I'm not more comfortable at this point I've spoken to this person said purely in Korean back and forth and everything was fine you know and I was like wow I can actually speak Korean to a Korean person that's it oh if in case you're wondering what i'm learning in university i'm learning so no name english language studies with teaching english as a foreign language so if you kind of put two and two together or you make four you um what i plan to be doing in the future is teaching english in korea so that's what I am aiming to get to in the near future. It feels so weird, like what, three years until like I'm packing my thing, going to Korea, and oh, wow. So the rundown is I'm still gonna I'm gonna be making more videos uh, now that I have my own space. It won't be to a schedule because I'm not I don't know. How much work I'm going to be getting and maybe if you're subscribed for long enough three maybe to four years might take a break then you might see me getting ready to go to Korea. Annyeong.